Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to the Crowded Couch Sessions here on Lickin' Riff in which we're discussing jam sessions and acoustic soloing. So in this video, my good friend Vlad and I uh, are gonna show you um, picking patterns and ways uh, in which you can be the inspiration for the soloist. Okay, when you jam, um, your first uh, instinct is, okay, now I'm gonna solo and I'm gonna show my chops. But it's also uh, important, it's actually more important to accompany right, to be a, a good rhythm guitar player and enable the soloist to shine. Okay, that's, that's also a very important part of jamming. Uh, you don't want to be that boring rhythm guitar player who just plays the same old patterns. You want to be creative with your rhythm patterns as well. So um, I, I want to thank you because you gave me that idea because some of you have asked about the ways that we accompanied each other in the previous videos. So uh, I'm lying, none of you have written me. Um, so um, <laughs> let's take something a little bit more funky, uh, maybe. Add a little bit of slapping in the middle. And I, I'm adding the, okay, I'm adding a little bit of raking in between. I'm adding just the raking okay, whenever I change a chord. Okay, it doesn't always work. And you don't have to do it on every chord, but it adds a little bit of flavor, so you can solo. It actually, the, the raking part, sorry about that, uh, the, the raking part actually works better on barred chords because you can do half a rake, you can, you can half mute it. You can also slide, but again, with taste. You can do, you can do, you can do bass lines. Baseline there. You can do. It. Uh, you can do it with one finger, and then slide. You can do. It. Okay. And okay. Uh, work. You can work on that, or you can do the A minor here. Okay, and then it's easier. G, F, and E, uh, it's, it's hit the road jack. Um, I, I like to play with bass notes as well. Again, this might be a little over the top uh, because I'm used to playing uh, solo guitar. Uh, so I'm always looking for ways to embellish and, um, and make things interesting. Again, for some people, when you jam, some, some people, when, when they jam, they don't like to be interrupted. They want to be the, sol the soloists, so you, you have to take a step back and be completely in the background. What I'm teaching you in this video is, is how to not be in the background, how to be on, a, on the same level as the soloist. Now, a lot doesn't mind, um, but, but some people do. That's, that's my point. So... Mm -hmm. 
I did an open E bass and then I played the bass of the chord and then just a short note. And that way that, that way you don't get any soloist mad at you because you're just you're, you're playing the chords. But you're enjoying yourself. Now, <laughs> um, um, I want to solo a little bit too. So okay, so go go ahead. <clears throat> now he he'll find different ways of playing it because his style is different than mine. So Completely different. He played it in a, in a jazzy sort of way. Just a one, two, uh, and he played jazz chord as well. Yeah. Uh, you can also play the, the. He played. He played the ninth. But but you can play the, the sharp nine as well. So he played. Uh, so you can find different ways to play that as well. You can play. Let's uh, let's trade a compliment. I, I'll I'll play one round. He'll play another round, and you'll see. You can get a question and answer thing just from a compliment.
<laughs> you see, it's fun, it's fun to trade short solo rounds as well. Um, I don't know what he did, uh, but but I, I did what he did. Okay, the one, two, one, two. Uh, then I started doing. Um, I played the bass, and then, and then at the very end, I, I got into it. So I did something like this. Something like this. Uh, um, I think it was because it, it's triplets. Da, 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 and I had a really nice finish there. Do you remember what I did? Yeah, no. no. <laughs> I, I don't remember either. Ah, that, that was it. I, I played muted. I played one, two, three, and then I played, I played two notes with a muted note in between. It was... So I turned it into um, triplet, so... And then the the, uh, the the sharp nine fell on the last triplet, so, so something like that. So, something like that. So you see, there there are many ways um, in which you can accompany someone when you when you jam. Uh, th this lesson could go on forever, basically, if if we add finger style into it, um, if we add all sorts of special chord. Let's let's try this, okay? Just as the last example. So I'm on A minor. So I do that. Major minor chord. Okay, but that's that's actually for another lesson. We we have a lesson on. Uh, we we want to do a lesson on um, challenging one one another's ear, and uh, <laughs> so so we'll save it for that. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much for that, and um, we'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> I bathe him in bread and water. Bread and water. The YouTuber's payment method. <laughs> <laughs>